office and people should just join us. Uh, let's see, JP, Guile, Pal, and others. This is online at Trader Central. Welcome, Dave, A, Tom, Five Five Five, and others. This is online Trader Central. The host presents today. Melissa Armo is here with us. Uh, we all joined us earlier. Again, uh, random now. Uh, Ed, Jerry, G, Wallace, Trader Joe, RG, Don Java, Snow Pro, uh, Ran Armo, if I'm pronouncing Ran Armo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, DK. Uh, Lay May add another. This is online at Trader Central. Welcome to KSS8. Uh, I think she's scrolling up. Bob L, Q, and others. This is online at Trader Central. New folks that have just joined us, welcome you to today's presentation. Welcome, uh, David is here, David Wang, uh, Reggie, Terry, and others. This is online Trader Central. We start in just a couple of minutes. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Well, last person to join was Joel. We welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. Joel, Kinsner, and Jerry, our online trader central is proud to present our host and presenter today from the stockswitch.com. Please put your hands together. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. So thank you so much, Kevin and Online Trader Central, for having me here today. Today's topic is going to be an interesting one. For those of you that are trading right now or thinking about trading, we're going to talk about how to make a six-figure income working 30 minutes per day. And how can you do that? Well, trading the market. So that's going to be the topic today. If you would like more information, you can feel free to go to my website at www.thestockswish.com and email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information after today's webinar. And feel free to go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and I have a lot of videos of YouTube of trades I've done or market calls or past webinars you can look at as well. So how can you make six figures a year? I, I, this isn't a million dollars. I'm only talking about over six figures a year, which is 100000 and up. But in today's economy, you know, that's a good amount of money. And actually, there's lots of people who used to make this kind of money, but in today's economy are not making this kind of money. Middle entry management jobs, people that used to have positions like this, uh, when the economy kind of fell apart in the last few years, these positions have gone under. And so now people are looking for a way to make extra money and certainly to make a good income, a six-figure year income. Some people, this is you know, depending on where you live in the United States or even in other places in the world, to make over six figures a year U.S. dollars is a good enough income to support you and a family. So trading gaps in the stock market is how to do it. This is one way to be able to make six figures a year 
in 30 minutes a day. And I know that sounds like a very short time frame, but we're going to go over it. Here's an example of a trade that just happened last week. This was on the 8th. This was on Thursday. It was on August 8th, and this is FIO. Okay, so this is a gap. The stock closed the night before. Here, this is on the 7th at night at 4 o'clock Eastern time when the stock closed. It closed approximately under $15. And then the next morning it opened right here around 11 something it was and had a nice move in the day. And this move happened in, in 30 minutes. It was done. All the profit that happened in here happened very quickly, boom, right in the beginning part of the day. So there is a lot of money in the stock market. This symbol symbolizes money. I don't think this is actually something that anybody doesn't know that's here today. There is a lot of money in the stock market. Many people think it's something that ever eludes them. They can't figure out how to make it, what to make it, how to do it, what to do. I have a philosophy in the market. It's less is more. Less trades that you take, the more money you can make. The less time you are in a trade, the less time you're in the market, the more money you can make. The less strategies that do, you, the more quality you can do in the strategy that you do. And I actually only do one strategy. And not only that, I only do it in one direction. Okay? So there is a lot of money in the stock market to be made. And it is possible. You just have to learn how to do it correctly. And ultimately, the philosophy behind today's subject matter is about relying on yourself and no one else. When you get to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization that your life is your own creation. You are the one in charge of your life. You and only you. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better. Sometimes it's just about opening up our eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life. Okay, sometimes it's just about as much something as simple as that. Opening up your eyes and seeing the possibilities to create a better life for yourself. So imagine the possibilities for success. What could be in your future? What you could do to improve your overall financial future for yourself and your family? And how are you going to get there? Okay, it's very, very important to figure out how you're going to get there. You can't just have it on a whim. It has to be some plan of action, not only to trade the market, but how you're going to meet your own financial goals. So where do you see yourself in a year? Do you see yourself in a year at the same place that you are now, possibly at a job, sitting behind the desk in a static office like this, at the same exact place in a year from now that you are right now? Think about it. Where, where do you see yourself in a year? Here, at the same place that you are right now in your life, or somewhere else? Where do you see yourself in five years? If this is a question mark, then it's time to think about this. If you absolutely don't know, if you have absolutely no clue where you see yourself in five years, then think about it. Think about it. And the question is to think about where you want to be in five years. To look at the bigger picture. How can you get from point A to point B in a year or five years from now to get to the place in your life where you want to be, where you have freedom, financial freedom, and happiness to spend with the people that you love? The benefits of trading are that it is less stress per day. When you do something and you were trading and you're making money in such a short period of time, there's less stress on you. When you're sitting at a job and you're working and you're taxing your brain for 8, 10, 12 hours a day, it is a lot of stress on you. It's a lot of stress on your physical body and your mental body. It's not the same way with trading. The benefits of trading are the money is yours now. It's not like you have to wait a week, two weeks, some places are also bi-monthly that you get paid. Or if you had a commission sales job, you don't get paid until the deal closes. When you trade and you take the trade and you book the money and you're out, boom, it's in your p &L, it's in your account, it's there, it's yours, it's in. You've got it. The money's yours. It's there. The benefit of trading is the money is yours now. Also, the benefits of trading is you can work from home. You can work from home, all you need is a computer. A desktop, a laptop, whatever you want to have, whatever you have right now is fine as long as you have a computer and can get on the internet. The benefits of trading are you can work from home as long as you have a computer. 
And the benefits of trading are that you don't have a boss. You have no boss, no one that you have to go and report to, no one you have to go and tell when you want to take a break, when you want to take a vacation, can you do this, can you do that? You don't have to go and report to a daily boss. You are your own boss in the stock market. Also, the benefits of trading are you can go on a vacation when you want to. You want to take a week off? You can do it. You want to take the next month off? You can do it. You're doing really well. You're having a great quarter. If you want to take 10 days off, you can do it. Again, no boss to report to. You don't have to go and punch a clock. And if you want to go on a vacation, want to take a break with your family, you can do it. You can go travel. You have freedom of your time. It's not like you have only a week's vacation a year. The other benefits of trading are there's no overtime. It's not like you have to work late and come home at night and you come home and it's 7, 8 o'clock at night and you're tired, you're exhausted, it's late, you missed dinner, and all of a sudden you got to go to sleep and get up the next day and do the same thing all over again. There's no such thing as overtime in the market. The market actually closes every day at 4 o'clock. I don't even trade all day long the time the market's open. I'm only trading in the morning, but there's no overtime in trading. The other benefits of trading are there's less hours working per day. Less hours working per day than you would in a normal job. Specifically, if you trade the strategy that I trade, which is gaps, I'm in it for a short period of time in the morning. Less hours working per day, less stress, less time working. The benefits of trading also that there's more time for your family. So if you're spending less time working, you have more time to be with your family. You also don't trade on the weekends. The market is closed on the weekends. You never have to work on a weekend. You never have to work on a weekend, and regular jobs sometimes require work on a weekend. So you have more time to be with your family. Also, the benefits of trading are personal freedom. This is one of the best ones that I personally think for me. You can make your own schedule. If you want to get up in the morning and trade one day, you can. If you want to get up in the morning and skip one day, you can. If you want to take a three-day weekend, you can. You have personal freedom when you trade. Uh, really, this is one of the best benefits of trading, period, hands down, besides the money. And the benefits of trading are there's a greater potential for future dreams. So when you have a regular job, you have a set income, maybe you get a 3% raise each year, and companies aren't even doing that right now in this economy. And for trading, it's not that way. There is a great potential for you to buy a bigger house. Dream big when you're a trader, because if you're doing well, if you're doing well today, there's a chance you're going to do well tomorrow, the next day, and you can continue to get better. And this is the wonderful thing once you learn how to trade and start to make money. Your dreams can get bigger and bigger as the years go by and as you're making more money. So in order to make six figures a year trading the market, you need the right business plan. Okay, This is something that is not going to happen without having a correct form and formation of what you're going to do. You have to have a plan of action, something that you set down and write down and follow strict rules. For me, it is something I call called the golden gap. This is the way that I trade. The golden gap system is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And the checklist is going to tell you what to look for. How with the points? The philosophy behind the 26 points is to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, two, big moves on the day, of course you want the momentum to trade, three, early confirmation of my bias and the move between 9.30 and 10, which is when I want to get in my trade and get the move, get the most of the move, 80% of the move or more. Number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And this is how you're making money trading, that you can trade in this short period of time and it's still profit and be able to make over six figures because you're getting the good risk to reward. And this is the reason that it works. So you're using a 26 point checklist to trade. And why trade gaps? The whole philosophy behind this is based on the gap, which is a strategy. I'm finding them using a rating system, but why do they work in the first place? One reason and one reason only, large institutional money. So they work so well and pay so well because gaps that happen are set by large money. They're, they actually are an event. This is the reason that they work so well. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. For example, on FIO, for FIO to gap down the way it did the night before on Thursday was made by institutional money. And actually, anyone that was here on the webinar I did last Wednesday, I told everyone that was here that FIO was going to work on the day. And if you took the trade, you made money on Thursday morning. 
The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. And even if every single person in here got in the same trade, we would not be able to move a stock. There's only one thing that moves stocks, big money or what I call power money. And therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it because you want to be with this. So this is how you're going to make money as an individual in the market. So by having a formula, which is my 26 points to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation. You get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it and you take the trade. Gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. What's a sense of urgency? People are up long in the stock, they're up money, the stock gap's down, they have to make a decision. They might be down money. They might have been up a lot and now they're down not as much as they were. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of the power. In fact, this afternoon I did the first part of one of my classes, which is called the trends class. And we had a big discussion about this. There's only one thing that creates trends in stocks. I call it power money. Power money is money that's run by banks, hedge funds, anyone that takes large positions in stocks that make them move. And this is actually one of the great things about trading the market is that these people even exist. It's the one reason that it's so great to trade as an individual because of the fact that these people exist in the market. They actually make the market. The market wouldn't exist without power money. So the whole very philosophy of trading the market works for us as individuals because if you trade with that money, you're going to make money. So the philosophy behind the Golden Gap system is really to analyze a large time frame, which in the case of the 26 points is a daily chart. So you're analyzing a large time frame of the daily chart to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. So to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, the one minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. So the bigger picture in deciding what stock to trade is based on the daily. Then the position sizing to get in the trade, the entry is made in the one minute. Okay, this is why this is this is why this works so well because I'm making the trend decision on the bigger time frame and the small decision to get in on the smaller time frame where there's a high level of accuracy. So using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction and using the 1 minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy. Here we're going to look at a gap. This was the beginning of August as well. It was just last week. This is SUNE. So SUNE, you can see here, closed the night before at around $9.70 some cents. Now you get up in the next morning, the next day, the stock is gapping down here around 8 something. It was under 8.50. So you rate the gap. The gap rates high. It rates 21 points. What do you do? You watch it for a setup to trade, to make money in, with momentum on the side of the power money. So you can see that the stock actually was in an uptrend prior to the day of the gap. And now all of a sudden what happened? It gapped down. So all these people here are up money. The stock gaps down here and an event is created that's forcing a reaction for people that own the stock. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Not everybody's down. Some of these people are down. Some of these people are up, but they're not up as much as they were before. What do they do? They have to do something. And here was the play. So I broke it down into three different levels, which we're going to talk about three different levels, three different examples for everyone, because I understand that everyone's in a different level, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And the reason I broke it down is to show you the different risk amounts and how the risk to reward is the same no matter what you choose to risk monetarily and how you can start up as a beginner, work to an intermediate, and then become advanced. And you want to get to the point where you become advanced so that you can be able to make six figures a year. But here's an example of a trade that worked and worked very well, very quickly in the first 30 minutes of the day. So you rate the gap. Let's go back. You rate the gap. The gap rates high. It rates 21 points in the 26-point system. You watch it in the morning to set up to trade. The stock opens. It's holding beautifully. You have to wait for an entry. You get a rally. It holds the high of the day. What do you do? Well, let's look at the play. This guy is a beginner. So this is the golden gap for beginner traders. He's new. 
He's working from home. He's doing this part-time. He has another full-time job. He only trades in the morning for about 30 minutes or 45 minutes, and then he goes off to his regular job. He doesn't want to risk a lot of money because he's just starting out, and he's, he's working on it. He's really getting there. So he decides to take the trade in the setup. He's only risking $52. His risk is about 50. So he's sizing it around 52. He takes 400 shares. The entry price was 937. The price was 829. I'll go back and look at the chart to show you. Stop was over 842. The risk was 13 cents. He got out here at the exit. This wasn't even the low of the day, by the way. All right, but this was the exit. We'll go back and look at it. Total profit was $476. This is for the beginner trader. He risked $52 and he made $4.76. So the risk to reward is 9.2 times the amount risk was made in profit. This is a very good trade. Okay, this is a solid trade. Now, in order to get setups like this, you have to find quality gaps. And then if you do, you can get setups like this that have the good risk to reward. What does this mean? That means for every dollar you risk, you made 9.2 times the amount. And how do you do it? Taking the trade in the morning, in the first 30 minutes of the day, he turned $52 into $4.76 in 30 minutes. So let's go back. So he rated the gap, he liked it. It drops down, he's doing nothing, he's waiting. Goes back up and retests, here he gets in. Puts a stop over here. And he actually gets out into this drop that happens here, this is 937. He gets out. The first target really was $7. He didn't even feel like holding it till then. Why? He had to get on to his next job. He has to be done by around 10. The stock dips down in here. He's up all this money. He takes it out. Stock actually dropped lower, bottomed out right around here. He could have stayed in it and made a little bit more. But really, when you're up this much money and you're a couple pennies from the target, the first target was $7, you take it. Actually, the first target was $7.50, but it blew right through it. So by the time it blew through 750, you know it's going to get to 7, and he's out. So he took this trade here, he risked $52, and he made almost $500 in 30 minutes, risking 52, I mean 476. That's a good trade. And then he's off with his day, doing whatever he wants to do. He could go to another job, he could do nothing the rest of the day. He's done, he's up. Now, we also have intermediate traders. No, this was last week, Dave. This, this trade was last week. I'll, we'll go back and look at the chart again. It was last week. Also, we have intermediate traders. This guy is a little bit more skilled. He's done the class. He's been training for like about two months. He's been risking about $100, $150, give or take. So he takes the trade. He gets a setup. He's in the same trade as the beginner person. He feels comfortable risking $130 per trade. He gets in at the same place. He gets out at the same place. He makes more money. Why? He risked more money. But the reality is that it was the exact same trade. The exact same trade. There was no difference in the entry, no difference in the stop. The only difference was the total amount of money that he chose to risk based on his experience level and the size of his trading account. He makes over $1,000, almost $1,200 in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. This is the beauty of trading gaps. How is he able to do this? Because he's trading with the direction of the gap and the power of money that are setting the gap. They are decided they wanted to sell out of the stock that day. So the stock gap down, how do you know it's going to work? You look at the daily chart, you rate it to make sure that it's going to trade down as a bearish short in the day, and you take the trade and you short it. He got in here, and in this trade, he made almost $1,200. Now, he risked more than the beginner, but he's an intermediary. He can risk a little bit more than $100 and make the profit. Time of the day is the same. Risk to reward dollar for dollar is the same. He makes over $9 per dollar that he risked. This is a quality trade. You don't take any more trades after this. Remember, I talked about this earlier. Less is more in the market. One trade, you make over $1,000. That's it. There's no reason to sit all day. No reason to sit in front of the computer at 4 o'clock. No reason to trade and trade and trade and trade and take a million trades. So let's look at the next one. This is an advanced person. Okay, this is an advanced person. This person's been trading for almost a year. Really knows what she's doing and really has it down. She's actually risking roughly $500 as her R or her risk amount. She loves the gap. It's a quality gap, quality trade. She takes 4,000 shares. Plenty of volume. She can do it. 
She takes it. She risks five hundred twenty dollars. She has a hard stop in at eight forty two. Gets out the same place. How much money does she make? Four thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. She makes nine point two dollars for every dollar she risks. She happened to risk more. This is a sizable position, but still perfectly good for a day trader. Perfectly within the range to take and make this kind of money. She makes more than a dollar. And she just made $4,760 in 30 minutes. Now she risked 520, but she was a skilled advanced trader. She's been doing this for a year, let's just say. And she knows exactly what to do. So clearly there's a lot of money to be made here trading this if you know what to do with the size. You just have to learn what to do from beginner to intermediary to advanced. Many people ask me, how many gaps do you get per week? Well, during each quarterly earnings season, there's four earnings seasons a year in the market. There's three to five quality gaps or more, meaning there's three to five gaps per day that would rate according to my 26 point rating system to take to trade. They would have setups like I just showed you that would go on to work with momentum. During non earnings season, there's three to five quality gaps per week. Now I know that seems like not a lot compared to earnings season, but that's still enough to make money. As you can see in the examples, one or two of those trades per week is your week. So a quality gap is one that rates high enough to train based on the 26 point rating system. What is this? This is the business plan for you. This is the business plan for you that tells you how you're going to get to make the six figures. The strategy telling you, pointing you in the right direction, which stock to train, which stock symbol to pick. You have to know what to do. There's so many stock symbols in the market to trade every day. You can't possibly just roll out of bed and pick anyone. You have to have a reason to pick it and know what to look for. Now we're going to talk a little bit here about leverage. I wanted to talk about this tonight because so many people ask me about leverage and I find that people don't understand what leverage is or are scared about using it. So here's just the definition of leverage. What is leverage? Leverage is the use of a small initial investment, credit, or borrowed funds to gain a very high return in relationship to one's investment, to control a much larger investment, or to reduce one's own liability for loss. All right, let me answer some questions here. Hold on one second. Are these trades intraday day trades? Yes, they are, Steve. Following the day trading rules, meaning the size of the account to be an active day trader? Is that what you're asking me, day trading rules? There's only day trading rules are, uh, if you want to have a retail account, you have a specific requirement to open a retail account if you want to be an active day trader, or you can open up a proprietary day trading account. We're going to talk about that more in a minute, but I think that's what you mean. Anyone else can feel free to ask me questions. I will answer them as they pop up. So anyways, let's get back to the leverage. This is what leverage is. So how can I use the leverage in my trading account to my advantage? Well, you're going to use it to your advantage because once you know what to do and how to train, it's going to help you make more money. And there's nothing to be afraid of in using leverage. It is the way that one person, one individual in the market can trade and make money. You're going to say, well, how can I protect myself from losses if I'm using leverage? You're going to use money management. You're going to use stops. I talk to lots of people. People say, I don't want to use a stop. I don't want to use a stop because if I put the stop in, then the stop's going to take me out and then it's going to go into work. No, learn where to put the stop. Part of the reason people are concerned about stops is because they don't understand where to get in a trade and where it's going to fail. You must use stops. If you don't use stops, you have no amount of risk that you're risking. The risk is ad infinitum if you don't use stops. You simply must use where, learn where to put the stop. So you use stops to determine your entry and risk amount. You must do this. This is the only way that makes sense to even have any profit in trading. This is what a business plan is. You wouldn't go out and start a business tomorrow and not have any idea how much it's going to cost you to start the business or do anything or hire an employee. You can't run out and hire five employees and decide that you're going to pay them each a certain amount of money a year if you don't know where you're going to get the money to pay them. You must use stops in trading. People have to learn where to put the stop. People should not be afraid of stops. This is a very important part about protecting yourself in trading. And it actually will help you become comfortable with leverage. Comfortable with leverage, comfortable with trading, and comfortable with making money. So you protect yourself with losses by using hard stops. You learn where to put them, where to enter the trade, 
and where the tray, where the stop needs to be put so the tray would fail. In fact, let's go back. Before we get to the next pin, let's go back and look at this tray. The stop in this train was here. Now, what if this had violated the stop? Would it have been a good idea to be in this trade short if it had violated the stop? The answer is no. Why? If this would have violated the stop, the stock would have gone over the high of the day that it set in the first trading bar of the day. Could have rallied, would have rallied. Where? Who knows? What if the stock would have rallied and rallied up like a banshee and rallied up a dollar? Okay, this is around eight, eight, eight something here. What if it ran all the way up to 920, 950? Are you going to let yourself be down a dollar? What if you had 4,000 shares of this? So you see what I'm saying? So you have to have the stop in. This is not a good short if it goes over here. Now, may it reset up later? Maybe. But to be honest with you, this is the time of the day when these trades need to set up and play out. And if they don't, sometimes they fail. And then you just never take a trade in them. You don't do them. Or you take the loss and you move on and find a different play. Or you take the loss in the day and get up tomorrow. And look for another trade like this tomorrow. If you look at the daily chart of this, let's just go here and look. Say this had gone over the high of the day and failed. Okay. Do you see it would have lifted up into here? And it really wasn't that far from it. It could have lifted up just barely, barely 25 cents. And it could have lifted up here and anything could have happened. When something hits this area here, it could have gone doop. So this is actually was a very strong stock. If this would have lifted on the day with a bullish market, because we're in a bullish market. It doesn't matter how this market traded this day. The fact is we're in a bullish market right now. So if the stock would have lifted up here into this, it could have gone anywhere. And then what's your risk? Ad infinitum. You can't do that. You have to have a stop. And you don't want to be in a trade if it fails. You want to be out. That's part of trading. Um, sell high buy low is asking, do you need more money in your account over and above the risk amount to cover the trade? Yes. Yes, you do. You can't have, if you're, let's just pretend you're an, a beginner trader here. You can't have only an account with $52 and take a $52 risk. Same thing with the intermediary. You need to have more than $130 because if this trade fails, then, then you would have nothing in the account. Same way with this person. This person needs more than $520 in the account to take the trade. Now let's get back to the leverage because I think that'll answer some more of the questions. The point I'm trying to make here is not to be afraid of leverage, that if you're a good trader, it actually helps you make money. From the time that I started, you know, making money trading to the time that I am, you know, went forward from started out at the beginning, lost at the beginning, figure the stuff out that I'm doing now that works, and then started making money, leverage was a great thing because it helped me move forward faster and stronger and bigger. And that if I hadn't had the leverage, I could have never made the huge progress that I have in the last few years since I've started doing well trading. So when you know how to trade, it's actually a magical thing. Leverage is a magical thing. You just need money management. Leverage helps you make money if you know how to trade. Period. End of story. And this is the goal for everyone. Leverage is a good thing if you know how to trade. All intelligent traders. I don't care if you've been trading for 20 years or for two months. All intelligent traders use leverage and use it to their advantage. And if you do not use leverage or don't understand it or don't know how to use it, you have to learn. You're, you're just afraid of it and you need to learn how to do it. And if you're afraid of it, it's because you probably don't know where to put the stop in. And then it's something that you need to learn. Leverage gives you buying power to take a position without needing the full cash value or cost of the stock outright to purchase it or pre-borrow it in the case of shorts. So, for example, to short 4,000 shares of SUNE instead of needing $33,160 in real cash, it's a real cash equivalent if you would have needed the full on value to take that advanced trader trade. Cost of the trade was $829 per share, so it would have been over thirty-three grand. Do you need that to take that position? No. Not, you don't need it because of leverage. So the advanced trader only needs the leveraged equivalent of the position and buying power. So for a retail trading account, that advanced trader has a retail account. That advanced trader only needed $82.90 in cash equivalent, $33,000 in buying power, $82.90 in cash, real cash, to take that trade. So he actually made 50% of his cash value in that trade. 
He needed 8,200 in cash and made 4,700. The buying power was this. If he had needed this, okay, and he probably had this because he's an advanced trader with a retail account, but if he had needed that, then he only would have made less than 50% of the cash value. Do you see the difference? Scott's saying no audio if you want to help Scott, Kathy. Is anyone else having a problem with the audio? Let Kathy know. So for the beginner or intermediate trader, if they only took 400 or 1,000 shares, it'd be much less than this amount of money. But I'm just using the primo, primo example here. Primo example, 4,000 shares. That's a, that's a good size in a trade. Good price of the stock, okay? This person didn't need this much money. This person only needed this much money, and they made, they would have made 50% of their money on this in one trade. One trade, okay? So this is how someone that knows how to use leverage can use it to their advantage. And if this person felt like risking $1,000 in that trade, say they were in love with the gap, and were up a lot for the week, and decided they wanted to risk double in their size, they weren't going to take any more trades that day. They said, oh, you know what, I'm going to do this one time, and it fails them out. If they risked 1000 and taken 8,000 shares, you know, it would have been a huge day for them. It was a huge day for them. But the point is, the sky's the limit if you have leverage at your fingertips to use, which every trader does, they need to know how to use it. They need to know where to put the stop. The stop had to be over that base there. The stop had to be over where it triggered. There's something called, look, let's go back to this again before I move on. This is an aggressive trade. There's no way about it. If you're waiting for the confirmation, you actually got it here. Okay? If you're waiting for more confirmation than this, you're in the trade late, and you miss half the move. And there's no guarantee that this trade is even going to hold. As it turns out, it did. All right. This is an aggressive trade, but the bottom line is it has the best risk to reward, the biggest payout. And by golly, it should hold. Why? Because of the gap. Because of the gap. So you got to learn and understand this gap. If you learn and understand what's happening here in the gap, you understand everything that's going on in this chart. And it's going to happen before it actually happens. So at the beginning when you're learning, you can wait for the confirmation. Sometimes you'll get it very, very quickly after. And you can bang right on it. Okay? And take it. Sometimes you don't get this. You get it way late into it. And by the way, if the stock had not gone on to the bigger target, you wouldn't have gotten that much out of the trade. Why? Because the first target was down here, actually 750. Here it is. She would have only had a small trade in here of 40 cents. Instead, this is a dollar twenty. Do you see the difference? So all you have to do is learn how to do this. And what's the worst thing that can happen to you? What's the worst thing that can happen to you if you take this trade and it fails, you lose whatever you risk. If you're a beginner person, $52. Intermediary, $130. Advanced, $520. And if it works, look at the money you make. And if you're an advanced trader and you can make this kind of money in a trade, your week is in. Okay, your, your week is in. You don't really need to do any more trades. Or you could do one more trade after that. So to move forward here and talk about this, the bottom line is that it's about really position sizing and leverage. Uh, Dave is asking a good question here. Is it risky to trade these low-priced stocks? No. In fact, my best moves, my highest days, the biggest days I've ever had trading are in a range of stocks, I'd say roughly between $7 and around $35. You'd be amazed at how much momentum you can get in these stocks. You get filled. you got to trade them with volume. They have to have volume in them, which that did. And you get huge moves in the things and beautiful entries like I just showed you there with 13 cent stock. The position size you take in a trade depends on the amount of money you choose to risk based on your level. That could be a beginner, immediate, or advanced. So you're going to determine that. You're the one that's determining that. You are putting your stop in the trades based on using your required monetary risk amount. Using hard stops mean you are only risking that portion of money. No more. It's not about the leverage. Okay? You're only risking the money that you put in the trade to take the position size where you're putting the stop. So you are not risking, for example, the advanced trader. The total buying power is 33000 for that 4000 position. That, that, that trader was not risking $33,000. They weren't even risking the $8,000 in cash equivalent they needed. They were only risking the $520 that they put in the position to take the trade with the stop, and it ran on to make $4,700. 
So you need leverage and buying power to take a position. But it has nothing to do with the amount you're risking on the trade. You are deciding on each and every trade you take what your monetary risk is. And it should be roughly the same each trade. But it is not the buying power or the cost of the stock. I think a lot of people don't know this. This is why I'm putting it in here. It was a request from someone, actually. So trading with size. Let's talk a little bit about it. The only difference between a beginner trader, intermediate trader, and an advanced trader is size. Size of what? The position. A trader cannot risk more money per trade and take size until they know how to accurately trade over a period of months, at least. To prove to yourself you can do it. However, trading with size is the goal. This is absolutely the goal. One play with size can make your whole week. Two or three great plays a month can make your whole month. So the fact is, even during non-earning season, you do not need to get an amazing gap every single day. Because two or three a month can make your whole month. So for example, if you take 100 shares of a stock that moves a dollar, that means you'd make $100 profit. If you take a thousand shares of a stock that moves a dollar, you'd make a thousand dollars profit. If you take ten thousand shares of a stock that moves a dollar, you would make ten thousand dollars in profit. So what's the difference? The only difference is how much you're risking. The trades are the same. Just like I showed you in the examples previously. It's about the size that you take in the position based on your risk amount, where you put the stop and your level of advancement where you're at, how well you know the system, know gaps, and know how to trade. But you can see the progression here and how the goal is size because the money is so significant when the size is great that it is so much more. So trading with size is the way to make even more than six figures a year. So once you get to a point where you're making six figures a year trading, these gaps in the morning, the first 30 minutes of the day, once you do that, you are on your way to making more than that. You will, are on your way as long as you keep your discipline under control and you keep up with what you're doing and you stay on track with everything that you're doing. Take your stops when they hit. Get up every morning. Go through the rating system. Take the trades. You're on your way to making way, way more. This is an amazing thing. So once you get to the point where you're actually making more than six figures a year, you're on your way. Um, Dave is saying, so the stop is the same for all three traders. The stop is the same. The stop is at the same place because if the train goes over that, if the stock goes over that price, it's violated. Let's go back really quick. It's about where the position needs to be put for the stock to make the move based on the price where it hits, where it triggers. So the reality is that it doesn't matter how much size you take because if you're a beginner, you have to take small. But for everybody, it has to be here. The price cannot be violated. The position in the trade cannot be violated per the price rules or the trade. You have to be out of it. It's going to fail. Um, and Dave is asking me a question here saying, what percentage of account risk per trade? Again, this depends on the size of your account and how much you are willing to risk what your risk tolerance is. Some people have a very, very low risk tolerance. Some people have a high risk tolerance, okay? So in, let's just say you have a retail trading account. Let's just say, for example, if you have a retail trading account and you have 30 grand in it, your risk tolerance may be more than somebody with a prop account. Maybe you're going to give yourself $1,000 in the day. You could divvy it up into four trades and risk $250 a trade, okay? And, but if you have an account at a prop place and maybe you only have $10,000 in it, you may not want to give yourself $1,000 a day. You may only want to give yourself $500 a day. Okay? So that would be less than 10%. It would be 5%. It does depend on your own tolerance for risk and how well of a trader you are. So the ideal trading with size is going to get you where you need to be. Do you have to trade with 4,000 share lots positions to make six figures a year? No. No, you don't. It's about getting quality gaps with quality moves and playing them out. Training with size successfully, though, requires a plan. This is the same thing we were talking about earlier, a business plan, because you certainly cannot take any sizable position in a trade without a checklist. You've got to know that it's going to work. $500 is, is a lot to risk in one trade, and you need to know that it's going to work. You need to know it's going to work. Two trades in a row at $500 risk, if it fails, it's 1000 bucks. You better know that trade's going to work.
And it shouldn't matter if you're risking $52 or $520. Money is money. You want the trade to work. You have to have a system that's going to tell you, I have 100% conviction this is going to work. I believe in the trade. I know that I've done this umpteen times and it's going to work. So here are some goals. I always like to do some goal setting. For example, we're talking about how to make over $100,000 a year. If you break it on down, it's $500 a day, and that's more than hundred grand a year. $500 a day is $2,500 a week. $2,500 a week is approximately hundred thirty grand a year. $500 a day is not insane. This is not to risk, this is to make. So if you profit $500 a day, that's $2,500 a week, that's hundred thirty grand a year. That's not insane. That's not something crazy. That's forget the advanced trader that made over $4,000 in the day. This is $500 a day profit. That's it. That's it. But do you see how if you can do this, you can get even so much more. Let's just say you're somewhere in the middle. You're not quite there yet. $300 a day is $1,500 a week. That's $78,000 a year. $78,000 a year from sitting at your computer at home, at your house, working part-time. Jerry's saying, how much time does it take to go through the 26-point checklist on the gapping stocks each morning? It doesn't take that long once you're doing it for a while. At the beginning, it might take you anywhere from five to eight minutes to go through one. Now, that being said, are you looking at every single gap in the morning and rating every single one? No. The system itself, when you take the class, automatically takes out a probably 90% of the stocks that are gapping. You won't, even, you won't even rate them. You won't even look at them. So you're only probably going to rate in the morning, even on a busy morning, maybe five. So you're, you're, it's just not going to take you that much time. If you're good at doing it and you've been doing it for a while, you can do it in, in, in a minute or two. But even if you're new and it takes you five to eight minutes to rate every one, you're not going to sit there and rate 500 gaps every morning. The system itself automatically takes out almost everything that's gapping except for a select few that you're going to go through and rate. So it's really easier than it sounds. Is there some prep time involved? Yes, absolutely. You can't roll out of bed at 930 and start trading. You're going to have to get up. You know, I, I personally get up very, very early. Do you need to do that? No. I'd say you need to give yourself probably at least 20 minutes in the morning. I'd say if the market opens at 9.30, you should be at your desk looking at stuff by 9 o'clock, really, to be prepared. And the better prepared you are, the more money you're going to make and the better you're going to do in the day. So if you make $150 a day, that's $750 a week. I know that doesn't sound like much a week, but to be honest with you, that's $39,000 a year sitting at home working for your computer. Could you make this extra money with another job? Yes. Would that be a nice extra part-time job? Yes. Is there anywhere you could go and make that kind of money as a part-time job and work from home? No. So, you know, you're in transition. You're just getting it situated. This is your goal. You're not there yet. You can do this. You're going to get there. You do this for a year. You're going to get there. You do this. You do this. You do this. The sky's the limit. $750 a week. So $150 a day, that one trade there was $52 and made $476. So in one trade, you could actually have your whole weekend, you see? Q is asking, do you use some kind of a scan to find the stocks to look at? I use just what's on my platform. My platform has a top 20 gapping down stocks in the NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. I use that. And you can go on to NASDAQ.com. You can go on to Yahoo Finance. You can go on to lots of free websites. Even freestockcharts.com have lists of stocks that are gapping. Of course, you could pay for a scanner. You, I, I actually did at one point, and it was too much. I had like this thing and that thing and the other thing, and I had like everything was just doubling up the work for me. You'll find that many things have the same, the same gaps. So you really don't need 100 different things. Just pick one or two. One site and your platform that should have the top 20 downs on both the exchanges, and you're good, and you go through them. It's really not that hard to find things to rate. The idea is to know what to look for. Because like on certain days, like today, today's a good example. Today, the market gap down. I actually called the market beautifully today. I said the market was going to rally, and it did. And tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of gaps gapped down today. Do you know that I did not take one trade today? I didn't take one trade. I didn't like any of the gaps this morning. And there was a million things that gapped down. 
Nothing really met my criteria. I didn't take a trade. So lots of things gapped out today. I didn't do anything. All right. I'm sure I'll get something good tomorrow. The reality is that you get up every morning and look for something to do. If you don't take a trade, it's not the end of the world. You wait for the good ones. You wait for the ones that are going to pay you. It's part of the self-control of the system. So to be able to make $39,000 a year, extra income working part-time hours is good. To be able to make $130,000 a year income working part-time hours is great. It is great. This is a dream life. Now, do you have to learn how to do it? Yes. I will tell everyone here, if you're in the process of learning how to trade, or if you've been trading for a while and you're not there yet, trading is one of these things. Okay? This is just this is just the way that it is. If you don't know how to do it yet, you gotta learn. Once you know how to do it, it is terrific. And you just gotta get to that point. The interesting thing is that many people think that they know how to trade and they don't. How how do you know? How can you tell? Well, just look at look at your results. If you've been doing this for a long time, you're not getting the results and something's missing in your system. Something's missing what you do. I actually had someone that did the class recently that called me, um, talked to him on Friday. He told me, Melissa, I thought that I understood support and resistance until I took your class. It was one of these things that I now have a brand new understanding of support resistance, which I thought I understood. And I realized that I didn't, and I didn't know it until I took your class. And now I know it, and I know it. It's one of these things that you may think you know something, but how do you know if you know it or not, if you're not seeing results? If you're not seeing results, you're not doing something right. You've got to get the results. And there may be something missing in what you're doing, and you don't even know what it is. And how do you know what it is? You have to learn what to look for. And how do you learn what to look for? You learn from someone who's a good trader. So your future goals, once you make over $100,000, are endless. The sky's the limit. This is the whole point of doing this, is to make money. And it's about having job security in today's economy. Today's world is not the same as 25 years ago or 10 years ago, or even five years ago before the bank bailout. What we think is a secure job today may be gone tomorrow. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking, and it may not even matter to our employer in the end if the company can't keep, keep you on. And it may have nothing to do with you. If a company is poor manager, they may fail, and it has nothing to do with you or your skill set, or your industry might fail, and it has nothing, once again, to do with you. You are a skilled person with a great mind. You can work for yourself in the market. You can create your own job security. You've got to learn what to do, but it's possible. You can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and make money trading. Uh, Jerry is saying, what is your experience relative to the probability that one gap to meet your 26-point criteria will not stop out before at least two-to-one profit is realized? If the trade goes on to set up to work, they work. When they fail, Jerry, many times they fail immediately. That's the other great thing about it, to be honest with you. When the setups happen, they set up, they go on, they work, they pay you, they run, they have the risk to reward. If they set up and flip you out and fail, they usually do it right away. So it's not like they go and they start do, 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 and then you only make one to one or two to one and then they flip. No, it's usually they set up, they work, they run, or they fail. Boom, and you're out and you take the loss. And you can either watch to see if it's going to fix itself, which sometimes they do, but many times they just fail. So it's about self-reliance and personal freedom and the magic of the gap. The magic of the gap, which is what creates this kind of momentum in here where you can get a beautiful trade and make this kind of money. So the power of the gap is what creates the huge opportunity in a short time frame. This is one of the great things. I, If I had to sit and trade for eight hours a day, I'd be pulling my hair out. I don't have the patience. When I make money, I need to make money immediately. In fact, we're talking about this in the class today. If you're in a trade and you're down money and you're down a lot of money, something's wrong. Something is wrong. When you're in a trade and you're up money, you can follow it through. When you're up, you're up. It's a good trade. You cannot be in trades where you let yourself get down a lot. That's not a good trade. You've got to be in where it sets and triggers. It's got to go and be up and it's got to go. When something sets and triggers, it should go and you should be up right away. Okay? And that's the great thing about trading gaps and the great thing about the morning. So you've just got to learn the right knowledge to make money trading. It is all about the knowledge. Just like what the customer said to me last week, he thought he knew support and resistance until he met me. And I showed him a whole new way of looking at it, which now he's using successfully. So the reality is that you have to learn the right knowledge. The It's all accessible, the information. It's how to put it together. And it's a great thing about the system that I figured out. I put it together in a way that it is so put together. It is so put together that everything sinks in with itself. 
so you can do it. Empower yourself today. If you are thinking about trading or want to trade the market, it's possible. I know because I did it, I'm doing it, it's real. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. What I mean, all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. Picking the right stock symbol, taking the right entry, putting the stop at the right place, looking at the targets, looking at the support and resistance levels. So the class that I teach is called the Golden Gap course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks into professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free, so once you sign up for the class and take it the first time, you can retake it as many times as you need to after the fact. The class is this weekend, August 17th and 18th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $24.99. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. So it's about getting on the path to success, and the Golden Gap course can help you do that. I also teach another class. I'm running a special for August. It's the Trends course, and this course is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. The class is going to be August 20th and 21st. It's broken up into two days. It's an eight-hour course from 1 to 5, Tuesday and Wednesday. The cost is $9.99. But there's a special for August. If you do the Gap class this coming weekend, I want to do the Trends class in August. You get half off the Trends class. So for $29.99, you can do both classes. This is a great deal. Total savings is almost $500. And you learn all about how to rate the gaps, how to play the gaps intraday, and how to read trends and stocks for even longer term time frames. So remember, love your life, love yourself, and love what you do for a living. And if you don't love for what you do for a living, think about the things I said tonight. You really do have to love what you do for a living. You get up every day and you work at a job for 8, 10 hours a day. I love to train. This is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm teaching. I absolutely love the market. And if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I'll put it here, and let me answer some questions for everybody. To have some time here. Um, it sounds like you did not scale out, perhaps saying for longer durations intraday. Um, Jerry, I have certain exit uh, or what I call reversal signs. So if I get a, if I have the target, I have the target, let's just say SUNE or whatever. SUNE just dropped right through the first target, so there was nothing to think about. But say you're in something and you have a target, you get what I teach in the class as a reversal sign. Typically, what I'll do is take 50% of the trade out. I'm usually not always moving the stop. I'll keep the stop at the original place, take half the profit, let it wiggle and jiggle, and get the rest of the drop down. And that's how I'm doing it. But I'm not in a trade till like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, if that's what you mean. And if something hasn't gone to the bigger target by 12 o'clock, I'm usually just out of it. Unless I, unless, unless the target on this thing could be like another dollar, two dollars or something crazy that I might want to take something longer. But to be honest with you, for the most part, these gaps work in the morning, work fast, and then they're done. And then, then they sometimes even, you know, wiggle and jiggle or just base out. And there's really nothing going on in them the rest of the day. And also things do not go with the market in the beginning of the day in the morning. That's the great thing about gaps. As the day goes on. If the market wants to go in a certain direction, the stock may go and wiggle and jiggle with the market. That is not the case in the morning. So then if you want to trade all afternoon, you better get the market right because you could be in the stock and having to get it with the market and you don't have to worry about that in the morning. Um, Steve is asking me about the, about the day trading rules. If you want to open a retail trading account at a retail brokerage house, the day trading rules is for if you're in the United States, Okay, this is not if you're out of the country. It's $25,000 minimum. And if you fall under that, you have a margin call. So you really need to have more than $25,000. The, the leverage is four to one. So if you open up an account with $25,000, you have $100,000 in buying power. Now, there are different options for, for proprietary day trading accounts. That's a little more complicated. And your best option is to talk directly to a broker about proprietary day trading accounts because the day trading rules do not apply there. They have their own restrictions and requirements. They have risk management and they also have their own leverage. Much of the leverage on proprietary day trading accounts is set by that particular broker. It could be as much as 10 to 1, 15 to 1, or even 20 to 1. And that's again up to that separate company. Does that answer your question? 
Does anyone else have any other questions, particular about gaps, the class, reading trends, risk to reward? Any, anything else, anything at all, it's a good time to ask it. The point I wanted to make about breaking it up into the beginner trader, intermediate, and, and advanced is that everyone should learn the information correctly first and start out. And anyone that's trading the market should be able to risk at least $50 when they're starting out in a trade. And the risk reward is still there with $50, just like Dave was saying. You can still make $9 per dollar on a trade if you risk 50. So you don't need to run out and risk $500. I've seen so many people get so excited and go out. You've got to learn it first. You've got to learn where to take the trade, press the button, and put the stop. So you go through the process and you learn it. You're welcome, Jerry. And the other thing is, too, that, you know, once you get into a groove with something and you're doing it, you'll know when it's time for you to risk more. You know when it's time for you to risk more? When you're making money so consistently that it actually doesn't bother you to take the risk, that you actually have no fear about risking more. The biggest thing is people take the leak from risking 50 to 100 to 100 to 200 to 200 to 300, and they're in fear about the extra money they're risking. You can't be in fear about it. If you're in fear about it, it's too soon for you to be taking the risk then stick with where you're at. You, the most important thing is staying consistent and banking the money. Banking the money, banking the money, banking the money, booking it. No, 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 no. Sell high, buy low. I'm saying there's different types of trading accounts and different types of brokers. I am a trading educational company. If you want to email you, I email me. I put my email in the room. I can refer you to several different brokers. You've got to look into that yourself and check with the brokerage house to determine where you want to open up a brokerage account. Then you're going to pick the platform you want to use with the broker and determine how much money you're going to put up and how much risk you're going to take. I teach the strategy. I'm giving you different options for amounts of risk. If you have a small account, you can only risk a small amount. If you have a big account, you can risk more. The point was, though, that you don't need some humongous account because even that advanced trade with a stock price point at a strike price of $8.29 for the entry required $33,000 in buying power. And that's not a lot of buying power. So again, you don't need a million dollars to trade. You don't even need a million dollars in buying power to trade. Even if you want to open up a prop account or retail account, if you want to be an intermediary trader, not beginner, not advanced, intermediary, if you have about 100000 150000 in buying power, depending on where which brokerage account you go with, you're going to have to talk to them about how much money you need to put up. But even still, you can make money with that. You can make money with that kind of buying power. Now, you know, you're not going to be able to take 4,000 shares of Apple, but that's a whole different ballgame. And it's certainly something that no one that is in advance should be doing. And Apple doesn't gap every day, so there's no reason to even, do, you know, do anything with it unless it sets up as a strategy as a gap to, to begin with in the first place. So the whole reason that these, this works so quickly in the morning is because of the strategy, which is a gap. The whole reason that the risk to reward is in the trades is because the strategy is because of the gap. The whole reason it's possible to make over six figures a year is because of the risk to reward in the trades because of the momentum, which happens because of the gap. So it all goes back to the strategy, which is the gap, and picking the right stock to trade to get the move. Uh, one more question here. Q says, so you run your scan immediately after the open of the market to find the gapping stocks? Do you feel to be in a big rush? No, 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 Q, I'm doing this all in the morning. I'm doing this in the morning way before 9.30. I'm looking at this way before 9.30. I'm looking at the gap. The stock, the price is gapping pre-market or even post-market. Like right now after I sign off tonight, I'm going to look for stuff tonight. There's stuff that happened tonight at 4 o'clock. You can prep yourself the night before or in the morning. Either way, you're prepared and are rating the gap before the open. You're watching it to set up to take the trade in the open. I'm not in the trade pre-market. But I am reading the gap and going through it all in the quiet of my own private time without the market being open. I'm watching the pre and post market trading, which is where the gap is happening. I'm not in the trade until it opens. And, and I'm not in it necessarily right away as on the open. I'm watching for the setup, which is what I teach in the second day of the class. Okay? So there's no rush. No rush at all. The more time you prep yourself before you trade, the better you're prepared you're going to be able to do. Why? Because sometimes when the setups happen, they do happen fast, and you have to know exactly what you're looking for to get in, and then you take the trade. Uh, do I ever trade stocks that are gapping up? I don't, but you can use my rating system in the class to flip it. 
I called Facebook perfectly as a long. It was a huge gap up. The traders wanted to short. I said it was a buy, and it was a great buy, and it's still a buy. The reality is that you can take my 26-point rating system and flip it in the opposite direction to go long if you want to go long. And then you can just go long. So you can do that. There's been some good longs actually lately. And with the market, you know, you can look at it either way. For long-term trades in your IRA, if that's what you're looking to do, Bob, if you want to take trades in your IRA and you can only go long, you can do the class, learn the rating system, take the trade as a long core trade if you want, if the gap rate's high. It's got to be over 20 points. It's the basis of the system. You're not looking for 26 or 26. You're looking for something that rates 20 points or higher based on a 26-point rating system, and that's a quality gap. That's something that's going to have a setup like I just showed you. And one more thing I just want to say, and I'll let you guys go. On the low end, I'm looking for 4 to 5, risk to reward. On the high end, it's 8 to 10, okay? So I'm not getting in a trade to make 1 to 1. I'm not getting in a trade to make 2 to 1. I'm not even getting in a trade to make 3 to 1. I'm getting in a trade to make 4 to 5 if it goes to the first area, okay? Like which without S-U-N-E, but then it went farther. And so then made almost 10. So do you see 4 to 5 on the low end, 10 on the high end when the trade's going to work? File was the same thing. So you look for a gap that can make four to five on the low end, eight to 10 on the high end. All right, have a great evening, everyone. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Thanks so much for coming. If you're interested in the class, feel free to reach out to me, email me, or give me a call. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me as well. Have a great night, everyone.